Okay, so we are back. Yes, here we are in my Novak apartment. What a beautiful sight it is. Yes, we have returned from the Zion Valley. A successful endeavor, if I do say so myself. Actually, it wasn't, but that's okay. We move. Today, we're going to be going on another adventure. Yes, we're leaving the Mojave for Big Mountain. Before we leave the room, as you see, the Teddy Bear Legion is... Oh, it's strong. Look at it. My God, they're everywhere. Soon the Legion will grow fiercer, tougher, stronger. I love you guys. Mwah. And as we leave for Big Mountain, I just want to say a thank you to everyone who's been tuning in, everyone who's been liking the videos, commenting, subscribing, all of that stuff. It means a lot. Thank you so much. I wouldn't be doing this without all of you guys. So just thank you. And if you are new here, I upload Fallout content every two to three days. New Vegas is currently on the menu, but this playthrough is fast coming to a close. So let me know what you want to see next. And if you're not subscribed, hey man, subscribe as well. Now, as we're heading towards the drive-thru, I'm expecting Old World Blues to be good. I'm expecting some funny dialogue, especially with my one intelligence character coming to talk to all of the brainiacs, you know? So I'm expecting big things from this. Of course, I have been let down with dead money and honest hearts, but I have a good feeling about the dialogue going into this DLC. I have kind of given up on being able to do some really evil shit, but the one intelligence, yeah, that one, that should be good. That should really, really be a treat right now. Now, there's no point in holding us up. Let's just get straight into Old World Blues. <laughs> You feel strangely heavier. A quick inspection of your body reveals faint surgical scars around your head, chest, and back. Welcome to the Big Empty. Oh, well, here we go. We are at Big Mountain. We're in the sink. Yeah, it feels good to be back here, man. The DLCs in New Vegas, right, feel so iconic. Yeah, old Fallout DLC just hits. It really does just hit different. It feels so good to be back here. Yeah. All right, let's let's take a let's take a quick hard look at myself. I've lost my armor and I've been given a gown, but the main thing is they let me keep my sunnies and bandana. So. You know, at least I'm dealing with some civilized people here. Yes, here we are, our base of operations for the next little while, the sink. Now the sink is not to be confused with a sink. The cool thing about the sink is that it does really act as your own little hub. Yeah, it does. There are a few customization options in here as well eventually, so we'll see if we get to that or not. Hello, mad scientist scrubs. Hell yeah, we're gonna snatch those and we're gonna look the part, you know? Goodbye patient gown. Hello, smartness. I don't know if I look like a mad scientist or more of a uh, judo instructor or judo student, you know, but it's the vibe. It's the vibe that counts. So two doors stand before us, one to the big mountain or the big empty or one to the think tank. And we're going to head down to the think tank because that's obviously where a one intelligence character would head straight away. Yes. A strange feeling of pacifism washes over you and you find that you're unable to draw your weapons for some reason. Yeah, so you can't just come in here, guns blazing, fists swinging. No, 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 you can't. There they are. All right, before we do this, guys, I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you to allow me to have some pretty funny dialogue exchanges right now. Don't let me down. Be warned, intruder. You are in the presence of a mighty think tank of Big Mountain. The collective geniuses of... We... Great. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. What was I talking about? Now, the quirky thing about Big Mountain and Old World Blues is that we now have five, yes, five biomed brains that we're going to talk to, the doctors of Big Mountain. And they're all coming through this guy's monitor slash voice box. So it is a little bit harder to keep track of all of them. But what we're going to do is go through all of this dialogue and we're going to see what I'm able to say. I... Was that a theater? And then I was here. What is this place? Did, did it just say something? Anyone catch that? Boros, you work with animals, translate. Oh, as if this situation couldn't get any worse. Now we've got lobotomites. Dollar, 
Get the spray before it excretes all over everything. <laughs> to be fair, I could very well be a lobotomite. Yep. Lobotomite? Dr. Klein, if my hypothesis is correct, this lobotomite is the repository of the brain we sent the signal to. It's proof that there may indeed be something beyond the crater. And are those penises I see wriggling on its feet? Disgusting. I believe those are toes, Dr. Klein. Penises are much larger than those tiny extremities. I don't recall the human penis ever being that large. Man, I'm glad I'm glad someone else chimed in and said it. Because extremely larger than toes? Oh, uh, come on. Come, come on, man. Come on, game. Don't make me feel like that. Now, obviously, they're disrespecting me. So I'm going to disrespect them right back by displaying my middle finger. Great. Now the penis on its hand is achieving erection. This little lobotomite is unusually attentive for something whose brain has been extracted. Nonsense! Lobotomites can't comprehend us! Lobotomite, do you understand me? Can you speak? Now before we go any further, right, Dr. Klein has just referred to my middle finger as a penis. Now I don't want to say that I'm smarter than an actual doctor, but he's displaying some one intelligence kind of characteristics. That is, uh, that's what's happening here. Also, did they say they've removed my brain? There mustn't have been much there to remove. Why do I feel passive? I should be angry. Real angry. Those were words, weren't they? In the form of questions. He's asking me questions. Is this some kind of trick? Dr. Klein, a transmission from the Forbidden Zone, coming right at us. It is I, Dr. Dr. Mobius, transmitting from my dome-shaped dome, -shaped dome in, in the Forbidden Zone, a zone that is, yes, forbidden to you. That's all. Uh, goodbye. Did you see his cracked monitor? He's clearly let himself go. The Forbidden Zone, where no brain has ever entered, nor ever returned. But what if it's brain? We scooped that out. We don't even know where we left it. If we ask it politely and leave the part about the unnecessary, ruthless lobotomizing out, it might be favorably disposed to us. You know, I will say, for having one intelligence and them removing my brain, I'm kind of... <laughs> where are the where are the stupid answers? Where are the low intelligence dialogue choices right now? This is bizarre. I thought that I would have just been slapped in the face with them. You guys removed my brain? And you don't know where it is? Or how to get it back in there? We removed your brain. Yes. So soft. Barely wrinkled, yet so flush with knowledge and experience. With knowledge? <laughs> Dude, you just have the wrong brain. That's not mine. Must <laughs> no. A brainless perk. Your brain has been replaced with advanced technologies. Oh, man. Oh, no. That's going to make me smarter. I don't want advanced technologies in there. I want my stupid brain back. Your head can no longer be crippled and is resistant to chem addiction and shock from bodily damage. Well, why am I all cut up anyway? I feel like some kid was playing with my insides. And that's what I usually do to people. That is my responsibility. Rather than let them send their signals, I remove them as well. Shh, little organs. Go to sleep in your tanks. Dala loves you. First was the heart. The heartless perk. The scars on your chest seem to confirm what the think tank is saying. You cannot be poisoned and filters in your artificial blood pump will regulate bleeding and healing, allowing all healing items to function at a higher level and robots are now confused by you and 50% less likely to score a crit. Oh wait, I mean second was the heart. Brain was first. Third was the spine. The spineless perk. Due to complications with the procedure, your spine has also been replaced. Your torso can no longer be crippled and your strength and damage threshold have been increased. Look at me with my lumbar and thoracic curvature. Never had a use for any of that. Spineless is what I prefer. You extracted my brain. What do you mean you misplaced it? Might have gotten flushed into one of the pipes. Actually, that's pretty likely. If so, it was flushed all the way to Mobius. Whoosh! 
That is the sound of flushing, Lobotomite. Listen to my voice. It denominates me to ask, but we need your help. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First, you scoop out my brain, and now you want me to save you? <laughs> What? I hope you're not demonstrating resentment now. If you are, well, we can't have that. Well, how the hell am I even talking to you right now if I don't have my brain? We have no idea. This line of questioning isn't important to us right now. Why are you asking these tangential questions? Stop it! Look, fine. Okay, just spit it out before you bore me to death. Excellent. This is turning out much better than the activate the retreat protocols and cower in my room idea I had earlier. All we need are the schematics. This does not mean we do not want the cold hard technology, however. So do not give in to your biological tired laziness and decide you would sweat too much carrying them. You have a new spine. Use it. Well look, if you don't tell me what I need to find, how am I going to be able to help you? The technologies are the X2 transmitter antenna array. The psychoanalytic cardiac dampening sneaky stealth suit. And eight sonic sound wave emitter projecto gun. If you work quickly, you will be the recipient of a gesture of gratitude from us. Yeah? Well, what if I want to take my time? You know, see the sights, explore this big empty. What illogic is this? Keep your filthy penis-tipped feet out of our labs and secrets! So you want this done real quickly? How about you guys help me out? How about you help me get this done as quick as possible? Because it sounds like I have to do a whole lot of walking. Ah, that is correct. You must walk upon your many penis feet. The little teddy bear could always run right into the pylon perimeter on its thick, turgid feet, returning it to us quickly and rectly, directly. Oh. Dr. Klein? Dr. Klein? If I may intersect for a moment. What is it? The lobotomite is asking me things, oh, and I'm trying to ignore them. My processors can't ignore you both at the same time. Look, if there's a weapon that you can just give me, hand it over. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Unless it's a gun, then probably not. It is truly the end of all intelligence when the lobotomite speaks more wisdom than you geniuses. What is he doing? I think he's sonjaculating into the gun. Getting it warmed up. <sighs> Ding. Turkey's done. You give it to the lobotomite. I'm not touching that thing. Let me give it a little sonic sterilization first. Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All antibacterial fresh. Here, my little teddy bear. I oh, shit. Bring... I... <laughs> Dude, this... <laughs> oh, man. These may be some of the funniest characters in video games. I have caught myself laughing a few times right now. You know how often I laugh out loud during a game? Not very often. All I need now is some stupid dialogue to, to really just bring this all home. Hey, this thing you've given me is pretty cool. It's got a little sound wave thingy on the back of it. The sonic emitter was specially designed to disable our own safety fields here in Big Mountain. Okay, well, this has been interesting, but I could care less about all of this. Could I please go now? Fine, so, yes. Get these things for us. Do not attempt to comprehend their complicated schematics. That is for us to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll go get these technological wonders and see how much damage I can do in Big Mountain. Uh, thank you? Uh, yes. Thank you. Lobotomite, take this chip to the sink. Plug it in and make sure the chip is clean or it could skip. Then make whatever crude biologic demands you need of the sink. It will cater to most of your hormonal whims. So it's just, uh, just one of these chips. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they're pretty rare, huh? Rare? I guess. Might be more somewhere, I forget. 
I mean, such knowledge is encrypted deep in my databanks. So I just plug it into the circular map thing in the sink upstairs. Uh, if you're done, can we move again? My biogel is starting to crampagulate. Okay, and so our first talk with the scientists of the Big Empty is done. Looking over at my time recorded, that was very close to an hour. It didn't even feel like an hour because of how good that dialogue is. That dialogue was amazing. If you've never played Old World Blues, I obviously just cut out a shitload of the dialogue. If you've never played it, boot it up right now. I'm telling you, boot it up just for the dialogue. And with that concluded, I think we will head upstairs real quickly and go and install the chip in the sink. You know, I am slightly disappointed that there was no real one intelligence dialogue right there. Also, I think during that, yeah, my intelligence is at two. Is that because of... Ah, that's because of the scientist scrubs. Well, that disgusts me, so we're gonna take that off and go back to the patient gown just for the minute. And we will talk to the SYNC Central Intelligence Unit. Salutations and felicitations, sir, and a most jocund welcome to the SYNC. I am your electronic valet and household central processor. May I be of service, sir? Sir, you are aware that I am a strong independent woman. Right? Indubitably, sir. But it is with a great lugubriousness that I must disclose that my program has installed only the masculine honorific, sir. First of all... <laughs> First of all, the complete contrast between a central intelligence unit speaking to someone with negative intelligence is just hilarious. Are you some kind of AI? There is no intelligence here, sir. That is, that is correct. There is no intelligence here. There's none to be seen. You mean that there are other? Personality modules around here? Sir, might locate backup personality disks elsewhere in the facility. Alright, so that is the sink all set up now to act as a bit of a barter hub. I do want to go back and talk to each of the doctors on their own, but to split it up a little, what we'll do first is go and find the missing modules for the sink, auto dock, and the biological research station. That's what we're going to do, so we're going to head out to Big Mountain. And now that we're out and about, well, it's time for my friend, the two-step goodbye, to make its way back into the fold. Yeah, I haven't punched anything with this fist for a little while, and I'm feeling very punchy today. Come here, Lobotomite. We're basically friends. Oh my god. He has gone absolutely sailing. Oh yeah, that is absolutely menacing. That is the right fit for a big mountain, I feel like. Yep, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. It really brings out my eyes. A lobotomite mask and goggles, and I get negative two intelligence from that. Hold on, hold on. Let's check this one out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's... Dude. <laughs> oh man. We have Splinter Cell at home. Hello, brothers. Hello, it's me. Dude, I'm just like you guys. Oh my god. There we go. I mean, I was like you guys. So here we go. This guy's just dropped a proton axe. And you bet we're gonna be trying a proton axe out. Holy shit, this thing looks wicked. Come here. Oh my god. Slice, slice, slice. Oh yeah. Oh, you pick up guns, huh? No, 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 down you go. Now, let me perform a bit of surgery. Ah, successful. I haven't really been eating anybody for a little while, you know? I don't know what's come over me. It's just one of those things that I forget to do because I never do it. But I have a feeling that being able to eat lobotomites is going to give me some form of superpower. Like the power to think even less. Maybe the power to say even more outrageous stuff. All I know is, I'm feeling good about eating lobotomites. Dude, the Proton Axe is so cool, man. New Vegas has the absolute sickest melee weapons. I don't know if Fallout 4 even comes close to this. I never use melee weapons, so I've got no idea if Fallout 3, Fallout 4, or Fallout 76 have weapons like this or have anywhere as close to as many. Like, the options here are insane. Because I use guns, I understand that there are a lot of unique weapons out there, and a lot of unique guns, and, you know, I've used most of them. The amount of melee weapons on offer here is nothing short of insane. It's spectacular. And I feel like I might have spoiled myself with New Vegas. 
Because if I try and go into Fallout 4 or Fallout 3 and try and have the same exact um, experience that I've had here, I feel like that's not going to be able to happen. Oh my god, the dogs are shooting... They're shooting Sonic emitters at me. God. It's like the dogs that chew bees, and when they bark, they shoot bees at you. <laughs> if you get that reference, I absolutely love you. Yep, there it is. We have the sync project, Autodoc. I have no idea if I'm going to say this right. The Valance Radii Accentuator, which is... It's like a halo, right? It's like a halo, but it has health regen and upshare endurance. Look at it. Dude, dude, it matches my character. You know why? It's because I am a paragon of goodness. I I deserve this halo. For all the good that I've done, that's, that is me. Yes, 100%. Obviously, I'm going to keep wearing the lobotomite mask because that's just, that's what makes sense for my character. But that is an extremely cool item. And there you go. There is the auto dock upgrade implant C13. Auto dock upgrade, cosmetic enhancements. I think that might be all of them. I'm not sure how many upgrades are in here, but that's three of them. So I'd say that's probably it. Now, the funny thing about Old World Blues is this looks like it's a bit of a trek away. It's not a very far trek at all. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. The map size is deceiving, to say the least, in this DLC. Dude, I always loved seeing these big, giant gems. Just these little crystals coming out of the ground and all up over the, uh, like, edges of the canyon. Always reminded me a little bit of Spyro the Dragon. Uh, just, it's, yeah, I love them. I have a Wild Wasteland trigger. Don't know what that's for, actually. Is it for these walking eyes, or are they always here? Yeah, I don't know what these walking eyes are. And I can't remember if they're usually here or not. It's funny, it's like Prop Hunt. <laughs> was this always here or was it not? What happened? Can you attack it? No, but you can you can smack it. Nice. Okay, but there is a sync project for sync. Which is, uh, remember, don't get that confused with the sync. Anyways, we move on now. Oh, no way. New Vegas has just crashed. You know what? I haven't had a crash for a solid, I reckon, 20 hours, maybe 25 hours at this point. I haven't had a crash, so that's okay. I'll, I'll cop that one on the chin. That's fine. You know what? New Vegas, that's okay. Maybe it needed a little break. Maybe it was just frustrated that I didn't know what the walking eyes were. Who knows? Okay, we're back, and we're back in the Grand Canyon of gems and beautiful... Like, what What are these red crystals? I'm sure there'll be lore behind it. I'm sure they have something to do with the robo-scorpions. But what the hell are they exactly? Yeah, it's an interesting thing, the old crashes with New Vegas. The way everyone's been telling me is that the game is unstable. But I have only... That was my third crash since starting this playthrough. Maybe I'm just an outlier, and I have been blessed with a New Vegas that isn't completely fucked. Okay, these guys are in here. The old spore hunters are in here. Patient Zero. Oh, shit. Well, Patient Zero went down without too many questions asked. A thick red paste. Mmm. Yum, yum. You bet I'm gonna eat some of that. It can only be good for you. A thick red paste straight from Patient Zero. Yeah. And there it is, the sync project for the biological research station. And with all of that, we can now head back to the sync and install all of this. Or, actually, we can go and find the other missing modules. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, absolutely, that's what we're doing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just sent the spore plant on a new adventure. <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, look at it, man. I... What... This is... It's funny. New Vegas looks rough. Fallout 3 looks rough. The engine has not been kind over the years. But, man, that's pretty. You can't deny it. Wow. Found another project, Holotape. This is for the light switch number two. Yes, yes, yes. Obviously, a very important function that we need to restore. All right. Here we are at the Higgs Village. Now, before we head in, I do remember Dala had said that there are a fair few teddy bears stashed away in here. So, 
obviously that's going to be on the agenda as well. Higgs Village is great. It gives off that Tranquility Lane vibe. You know the one, man. It gives off that vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is super cool. Now, obviously, there is a house for each of the doctors that we've been dealing with and speaking to. But the one that we want to go into is door to number 108. And upstairs, we will find the project tape for the jukebox. Now, I believe that this is Dr. Eight's house. I may be wrong. As you come down into the kitchen, we will see a few clues. The eight coffee mugs set up with the eight metal spoons and eight different dinner plates all ready to go. This one was on the ground and I decided to be a good guest and put it back in its rightful place. Now, this very well might not be Dr. Eight's house at all, but using my very perceptive and intelligent self, that is the conclusion that I have drawn. That, oh, that's right, dude, that's right. I don't want to kill you. Oh, I don't want to kill you, Stripey. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Okay, well. Well, holy shit, Stripe fucking killed me. Everything that I just said about Stripe, yeah, nah. He's out of there. Come on, out you come. Hey, big man. You think that was funny, do you? Yeah, get down. Get down and stay down. You little piece of shit. Oh, I feel bad about it. Stripe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, look at that. He had his own chicken leg to eat. Oh, boy. Hello. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Look at them. Oh, look at them. Yes. Okay. We found the teddy bear house. Yes, yes, yes. I can't take them just yet. I am so close to being over encumbered, but I wanted to see it for my own eyes. Oh my goodness. Absolute legends. Dude, a, a big mountain legion was being formed before I even entered the Mojave. How very cool. How very cool indeed. Look, he said, oh. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, what are we all doing here? Are we having a meeting? Oh my god, this is great. You, get back on your chair. Back on your chair. Nice and steadily. Nice. Ah, there you go. Good enough. Dude, are we doing a fashion? Are we doing a fashion show? Is this what this is? Okay, I'll strap my stuff. And a nice little twirl. Yeah, 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 yeah. And walk it off. Very nice. Good stuff. Oh, there's a holotape. tape. A recipe for a speech skill. Sure, I'll take that. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be back for all of you later. Yes, I will. You guys as well, don't you worry. I'm 100% taking all of these bears. They're coming with me. No one here is going to appreciate them, so they get to come with me. Maybe these guys, maybe these ones, well, they're going to be able to sit on the lounge in my apartment. And all eight of these guys, I'll find somewhere for them. Don't worry, I'll be back. Oh my god. Oh, here we go. Okay. Dude, I want one of these suits. Hello. The Trauma Override Harnesses. Some of the coolest designs in Fallout. Like, that is messed up, man. Like, look at that. Man, that's cool. I should have worn my spacesuit here. We could have we could have fit in together. Your cooperation. Damn, that was a strong protector on. He took a lot of hits. Damn. Oh, my God. That guy just got flung for his life. Down you go. <laughs> Down you go. And there we go. The project for the light switch number one. Okay. So, that'll be all of those ones done. Are we... Yeah. Yeah. So, we get to go and find the modules for toaster, muggy, and the book shoot. Muggy and toaster. Both so awesome, so awesome. Of course, we're gonna go do that now. Well, 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 what do we have here? A little teddy bear, that's mine. We enter the cuckoo's nest. Oh shit, there's lobotomites in here. All right, this is must, this must be where they hang out. Go on, down you go. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm oh my goodness, I just came into your home and I started punching around and just taking you all out. I, I'm in the wrong here. I understand that. It would have been a nice little touch if the lobotomites could have sensed that you had one intelligence and so they wouldn't, 
attack you on sight. That would have been a nice little touch. Of course, we can't have it all. That's okay. My god, they were cooking up a storm here. Yum. You know what? I said it was my bad coming in here and killing them. Maybe, uh, maybe they needed to go. It looks like they're kind of out villaining me. Look at all these skeletons and bodies. Jesus. Another teddy bear for the horde. Another teddy bear. Okay. Oh, what is that? Okay, this makes me think tragic things have happened here, which is uh, kind of my deal. I, I think I could settle in here now that the uh, residents have moved out. Oh my god, there are proton throwing axes. You bet I'll give them a go. Why not? My throwing accuracy hasn't been the greatest of all time, but with the power of proton on my side, I don't see how I could lose. A protonic inversal axe. Inversal axe, what's the difference? Oh my god, that is, that is so cool. That's actually so wicked. Yes, oh my god, and another teddy bear. And there we go, surrounded by a cult-like <laughs> shrine to the toaster gods. We have the toaster project holotape. Yes, yes, we'll take that. My, my goodness gracious. I think, like, I, I think me and toaster are gonna get along just quietly. That's also a very nice touch, just a little makeshift bed site held up by warheads. Yeah, no, I actually really like that. I wish I could do that in my apartment somehow. I'm jealous. Oh my god, it's crashed again. That is actual jokes, that's actual pranks. I guess Big Mountain is quite a bit unstable. That's okay, that's all right. It's very weird, it's a very small area. You'd think that it'd be more stable. Doesn't matter. Don't question the fallout engine. Okay, we've just ducked back into the Higgs village very quickly. Apparently there is another holotape in here. Sure enough, just upstairs we have the book shoot. Project Hollow Tape. Very good. And it appears someone is watching us. Oi, here we go. All right. Dr. Klein's glove. Dr. Klein must have lived here, of course. His residence. Ah, oh, it feels good to be in here. I think I'm going to steal all your shit. And you can grab Dr. Klein's scrubs in here, which is great. I'm going to wear them when I talk to him next. There's no way. Dude. Dude. What is the go with uh, Old World Blues? That's three. That's three crashes now just inside this DLC. It's funny. I No issues. None. Zero. And then, <laughs> and then as soon as Old World Blues has started up, three. I had two. Two crashes in 35 hours of gameplay. And I've had three in probably two hours right now. Actually, when it first started, I was like an hour and a bit in. I think I've had, I think I've had three crashes in roughly. 45 minutes or so. Wow. That's honestly, <laughs> that amount of crashes is unacceptable, right? Like, I don't really care. It's not a massive deal for me. I just relaunched the game again. No worries. But imagine when this first came out and it was this unstable. I would have been extremely pissed off. Extremely pissed off to be playing this on PC. I am sure console had issues as well. I know the Xbox had a massive issue when I first played this where your game would actually corrupt after come fly with me. But man, they, this amount of crashes is uh whew, yep I don't know what to say right now. I've got no idea. I have no idea what to say. It's it's gone again. Obviously, there's going to be a mod that probably fixes this or negates this from happening. Like, I'm going to keep all of these crashes in because this is just hilarious. This is hilarious to me. How can we have no issues in dead money of all things? Dead money, nothing. But as soon as we get into Big Mountain, then we've got problems. This is super strange. This is very, very very strange to me. Like I said, I'm not angry about it. It's game development is a magical thing and the engine they're working with is pretty rough, but this is uh this is crazy to me. Who knows it might just be my machine that's having issues. This DLC might not have installed correctly. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Let's put the Oh, they have their own power fists. Okay. Oh, I'm kind of just Oh my god, there's Cazadors here? There's Cazadors in Big Mountain? Get out of it. <laughs> Get down. Get down. Oh my god, absolutely flung him. Get down. Go on. Off you go. Am I going to be able to hit it? Am I going to be able to hit it? 
There you go. Look at that. I'm doing it. I'm... How did that one miss? And there we go. This is going to be a project holotape for our buddy Muggy. Well, there we go. That's all the uh, personality modules that we needed. We can now go back to the sink and install them all. They had Saturnite fists. Okay. All right, give me the give me the Saturnite fist. I think I'm gonna like these fists better than the uh, better than the doctor's glove. God, I got worried about fast traveling to the balcony. Then I'm kind of scared about even walking through this door if we're gonna survive or not. Hold your breath. Didn't crash. Didn't crash. Miracles happen. So we're gonna get all these installed, and I'm gonna have a chat to all of them. Hopefully, we can get some pretty funny dialogue out of this. And since we're in the sink, let's start with sink. Oh God, look at you. You're Filthy. You seem kind of worried about dirt. What's the matter? Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. That's okay. I'd just like a drink. That's all. Just a drink. I don't want to wash my hands. You can have as much as you like. Just... Uh... Please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. We're gonna leave the biological research station just for the minute. I think I want to talk to him last. Let's talk to the book shoot. Hello. Ah, good day, citizen. All those books from before the war, full of seditious, treasonous, complicated thoughts. I'll have them pumped, scrubbed clean, and pressed out again clean and white and sedition free. So you just, you just make blank books. What the, what is the point of that? Blank books encourage the reader not to question, but to blindly and zealously accept what's put in front of him. I like the idea of uh, blindly and zealously following. That sounds, that sounds right up my alley. Blank books, huh? Yeah, I guess I can find a use for those. Now you're thinking like a citizen, citizen. But those books are our last legacy of the time before- I don't care about that. And that is the book shoot. So obviously he's gonna make blank books, which we can then use the recipes to make skill books with. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool. Light switch, number one. Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. So what function is it that you serve? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Is that right? He has a big brain, does he? <laughs> well, I have no brain. So that's light switch number one. Obviously, that leads us to go and speak to light switch number two. Mmm, that was a nice little uh, cat nap. What are you? Some kind of novelty talking light switch? I was Dr. Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. Before I go, I saw another light switch in that other room. Do you control that one? Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie, you're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. Thanks for the advice. It sounds like there's some bad blood between you. Or, um, bad circuits. That bitch. She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Okay, that's that's alright. Forget I even brought it up. Sure thing, sweetie. Oh man, this uh this brings me so much joy. <laughs> like who thinks of this? This is just it's amazing. It's so funny, man. Alright, the jukebox. Ooh, yeah. Dig that sweet music. What, uh, what's your purpose here? Oh, Doc Mo used me to prototype his sonic weapon designs. Like myself, you seem to be pretty laid back for an engine of destruction. Ain't like I got nothing to prove. Not like that toaster. Now that boy got some issues. You can give him the sound wave files and he'll be able to recalibrate the sonic emitter, which will make it do different things. It's, uh, doesn't really appeal to us on this playthrough but that is that is the main function of the jukebox he said that the toaster was a little bit of a cranky boy <laughs> i am online once again tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom tremble 
You're a toaster. I mean, how fearsome can you really be? A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world. Well, 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 well. I, for one, am quaking in my tiny little booties. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now. On fire! Toaster, you seem very, very angry. Why do you have all this pent-up rage? Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger too. I can respect it. I can respect it. I feel like I have a lot of pent-up anger as well. Since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. Toaster, I'm almost afraid to ask, but what exactly is it that you do? You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night. So, uh, you murder toasters? Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like. Okay, that's that's cool, that's cool. Um, what else do you do? You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics! You want a superheated Saturnite power fist? I can hook that shit up! You mean, uh, you mean like this Saturnite power fist that I have on me already? Oh, baby. That is a thing of fucking beauty. Give it here, I'll soup it up for you. There you go. Have fun with that. Burn the fucking world for me. I will. I absolutely will. Which leads us to our friend Muggy over there. Hello. Oh, he's so cute and darling. I love him. You. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Got any mugs? Mugs? Why, why do you want mugs? Why do you want mugs, huh? You some kind of sick mug hoarder? Oh god, give me the coffee cup, please! It's sitting there in your pack taunting me! Sorry, um, sorry. I gotta let it carry away. It's just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them, it breaks my heart! You, uh, <laughs> you seem a little obsessed with mugs, Muggy. Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that too. Do you know how many coffee cups, giant robot brains and jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! <laughs> Dude. Dude. Well, what do you do with these mugs? I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The pot of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. And is there anything else that you're able to do? <laughs> anything else, she asks. Like, I don't long for the chance to be more than a neurotic busboy. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Let's change the subject. Is the new subject mugs? I mean, it, it could be, but sorry, I, I don't have any. Of course you don't. Why would you? You're not an insane robot obsessed with coffee cups! To you, they're just worthless junk! Oh, Muggy, I've gotta go. I absolutely adore you. Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with Muggy. I oh! So Muggy! Muggy! Oh, oh, that breaks my heart! Listen, buddy, if I was able to bring you with me on my adventures, I 100% would. And this leads us to the final personality module. The Biological Research Station. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. Feels good to be online again. Yeah, all circuits online. Ready to receive your seed. My seed? I, uh, mm, I think you've got your biology mixed up. Nah, baby. I'm all about biology. You got seeds. I will clone the shit out of them. What, uh, what does that even mean? It's the miracle of life, baby. You bring me some succulent genetic samples, and I'll work my mojo on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You like that, don't you, baby? Well, biological research station, I command you to open your port and receive my seed. Ah, uh, yeah, baby. Just slip it in there. All the way down in that dark, moist earth. Mmm, launching interface. 
<laughs> I think I actually have a seed. Let's process it. Well, there you go. You didn't have anything witty to say about that, which is upsetting. Well, there we go. All of our friends have been brought back to life. And I'm now tasked with going and finding the upgrades for some of them. But I think for now, we're going to leave it here. I wanted to get all of the DLC videos in their own separate video. But the thing about Old World Blues is the dialogue is just so perfect. I'm sure over half of this video is just going to be the dialogue. Because I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. It is honestly fantastic not to not to mention we've got to go back into the think tank and talk to the doctors again this video is just uh this video would just run so long so i feel like it's easier to just split it into two parts and we can go from there instead of just shoving it into one huge video i mean yeah honestly that's that's where we're gonna leave it i understand not too much happened in this video it was mostly just me loving the dialogue i will say i will say i am spewing that there is isn't any low intelligence dialogue. I'm absolutely spewing. Maybe that will come when I go and speak to the doctors again. Maybe it won't. It doesn't matter. I just wanted to experience all of that dialogue. So if you've made it this far and you've liked what you've seen, hey, like the video. Maybe subscribe if you haven't as well. And next time, we're going to be finishing off Old World Blues. But for now, I'm going to leave you. Thank you so freaking much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. I love you. Wanna push my buttons?